It was the announcement that many in the southeast Nebraska community of 3,500 feared. The Aaron's plant closing its doors. Everybody's in shock and not knowing what they're going to do. Carrie Kratz owns the hair salon across the street from the plant. Her first concern about the nearly 200 families it will affect. They were one of the better paying mm -hmm. employers here. And then what it will do to Auburn's economy. Yeah, it will hurt my business because, you know, being right across the street, we got a lot of a lot of those employees. Thursday, the Wisconsin-based company met with employees and also notified city and state officials. Aaron's president said while it was a difficult decision, it would be consolidating operations to its plant in brilliant Wisconsin. Quote, it just doesn't make economic sense to keep this plant running in light of the significant productivity improvements that have been made elsewhere in the company. We're hitting the ground running. We are um, out there looking for a buyer. City for... officials say they are working with the company and have already partnered with the state and Nebraska Public Power to set up economic development teams. Everybody has the same goal of finding a buyer and keeping everyone employed. Company officials say they will start phasing out jobs in mid-August. Two employees I talked with who didn't want to go on camera told me about 60 jobs are available at the Wisconsin plant if they want to relocate, but they would have to apply for the positions. This woman's son works at the plant. She's not sure what he'll do. He is 71, but he could retire, but he doesn't want to. He wants to keep working. <laughs> In Auburn, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, News Watch 7.